Okay, today we're going to play some matches with Burn, and in honor of Burn deck, um, we're, we got the webcam working finally, so you can see my ugly mug while I record things, but uh, you know, the webcam is in honor of going to the face, so <laughs> uh, here's how we do that in Pauper. Um, by the way, this deck is super powerful, um, it's not... It's not much of a step away from legacy level burn deck. Um, pretty much, a lot of the same cards are legal. Um, this is fairly cheap to put together, um, and it has good matchups against a lot of decks. It's also easily hated out to some extent. You know, life gain. There's no skullcrack type card. Um, there's no sulfuric vortex, so life gain's a problem. Cop red is just you're dead to cop red, you know, that's a thing, uh, that's a thing that <laughs> happens, um, and, you know, so there's, there's ups and downs, but it's a very linear, powerful deck, um, turn four is pretty normal with burn, turn five, you know, and, uh, I don't know, it's pretty good, uh, so let's go through some of our choices here, 20 basic mountains, um, there are people that play, uh, you know, some Forgotten Caves or other cycle lands. Um, but, you know, it's rare that we flood out, I feel, in, in this. Uh, you know, mostly, if you haven't killed them by the time you're flooding out, you're not going to kill them. <laughs> uh, you know, it's very rare you get to a point where that's a problem. Um, and how are we going to the face. So how, how do we kill our opponent? We throw burn spells at them until they just die miserably. Um, so we've got uh, Chain Lightning, 4 of. We've got Lava Spike as a 4 of. We've got Lightning Bolt as a 4 of, all to nobody's surprise. Um, we got Searing Blaze, also to no one's surprise, as a removal and a burn spell. Um, this is another reason why I don't want tapped lands, um, you know, because you want to be able to play a land and cast this. Um, Rift Bolt, to no one's surprise. Um, now, another reason we're playing Mono Mountains is Fire Blast, because this just comes out of nowhere, does four damage, um, and, uh, you know, quick way to end the game, a couple of these. Flame Rift is four damage on a card, so... That's pretty powerful. Uh, as far as creatures, we do have a couple creatures in here. Fire Slinger is an odd choice. Um, there's no Grim Lava Mancer, that, you know, so you do want some kind of reach. There are other one drops that could be good, but I'm, I like this guy. He's sort of like a 1 1 unblockable, except you don't have to go to attack step and you can just kind of do it. Normally, this is just another Lava Spike. It's pretty. You know, it's pretty likely if you cast him on turn one, you're going to get in for at least three with him, and then he's done his job, right? Then he's another Lava Spike, another Lightning Bolt, right? So if you look at it that way, um, you know, and if you're in a really bad racing situation, you can chomp with him. So he, I think it's it's a good fit for the deck. Um, Kiln Fiend is just an all-out powerhouse. A lot of times you're going to have trouble getting him through, but if you can... Um, you know, if you are bolting a creature um, in a burn deck, that's normally not where you want to be. But if you're bolting a creature to get your Kiln Fiend through, then that's net zero mana, right? Um, because you're you're plusing three on your Kiln Fiend, so you're getting the same amount of damage across as if you bolted the opponent's face, but you're removing the creature also. Um, so he just works in to sneak in a few extra damage, uh, sometimes you can just uh, untap on turn three with a Killing Fiend and just kill your opponent. It happens. Um, finally, Keldon Marauders. Sorry, I got a stiff neck. I, keep, I know I keep twitching, but uh, uh, <laughs> I hope I don't look as bad on this webcam thing as I'm expecting to because <laughs> I'm nervous about it. I'm sure you'll catch me picking my nose and stuff. Uh, Keldon Marauders is up to five damage on a card, and it's sort of... Um, blocks for a turn also when you first cast it, so kind of a helpful card in a race. Our sideboard is kind of dumb, 
at this point. Um, I haven't really tweaked this sideboard in a while. I just kind of threw it together from whatever stuff I had. Um, I'm sure, you know, please, guidance on this would be fine. There's two cards on he in here that I'm set on, and the rest really doesn't matter. Like, um, you know, Reign of Embers is for playing against tokens or Delver um, to kill all their fairies in one shot. I mean, and it, it still deal one damage. I mean, you could play Electricery, but that does no damage to the opponent. So I think it's slightly better at Reign of Embers. Uh, and Smash the Smithereens is for Affinity. This is, you know, this is a pretty obscene card against them. Um, you know, and there are corner cases where you might bring it in against some other deck. Um, Swir Swirling Sandstorm is a five damage wrath um, if you have seven cards in your yard. So it's pretty easy to get seven cards in your yard playing burn. Um, so I was thinking, you know, this is a possible way if you wanted to go long in the game, but. I, I don't think that's really where Burn is at, so maybe this is a mistake, but I just like this card, so I threw it in here. Again, I can't think of things off the top of my head. Obviously, I need to work on this deck um, before I take it into a tournament or something like that. Um, and Lightning Strike is just, you know, let's say I, I'm up against a deck where there's no way that my Kill and Fiends are going to get through, then maybe I'll just board these in to just continue facing the opponent, or maybe board out the Flame Rifts in a mirror kind of situation, right, against another burn deck. I don't know. I'm sure there's a better plan here. I, I'm just not seeing it off the top of my head, but, you know, of course, um, please let me know in the comments what other uh, ideas you have for our Puffer Burn deck. So um, now we're going to just go. We're going to go to the base. We're going to Flame People and Bolt People and burn them to a freaking crisp. So let's go get toasty. 